Hello all, welcome to Netbook and welcome back to Mulesoft Tutorials. So today I'm planning to show how we can read payload attributes and variables as well as I'm going to show how we can write the payload attributes and variables. So in one of my previous video, I explained about what is an event, what it contains and all right. So at that time I was mentioned that payload is a business data attributes are the metadata and variables are temporary memory storage in our flow right so these things how we can read and write during our flow implementation in a mule soft that is what i'm going to explain right now so the first part i'm going to take it as um, i can say that uh, write okay payload attributes and then variables then the second part which i'm going to explain is a read part okay so i will divide into this so let me start so i'm going to take the same example of the hello world program which we have so i want to write a payload first of all how to write a payload we used already here one of the way we can write a payload using the set payload over here you can mention the content whatever you want to write it so write payload can be done using set payload is the one of the component in the mule soft we use this set payload from here and dragged and dragged and dropped over here then instead of this value we can hard code the value so that is what i have done it already in my previous example so this is the one way the second way is using the transform message using the transform message i can do the same job so we have something called transform message i can take it over here instead of this set payload I can use the transform message. Let me delete this set payload anymore. I don't want. I'm going to use instead of set payload, I'm going to use the transform message. You can see the output is payload over here. And I can put this is the route put I want to return as a JSON format. I can do this way. That are the two ways we can do the set payload. Let me test it because of set payload we have already tested. Let me test it with the transform message. I want to deploy this project. So I'm going to right click run as mule application I can do. Meanwhile, I will go to the browser and I will make it ready uh, my request. The request URL is I just kept it over here. Once it is deployed, I will test it. So it is deployed this project. Now what I can do, let me test it this. Enter, you can see that this is the uh, response I'm receiving as output. That means I have written a payload using the transform message. And how I can write, the next thing is how I can write attributes. We can write attributes using the transform message itself. Okay, so what I can do here in the trans output, you have here, click on target, there is the output attributes i selected over here click on ok then i can put it something over here i can say json format data it is the mm, uh, the attributes and i can say status is ok ok or success so this is what i want to return in the attributes i can do this using the transform message over here what I need to do is just click on plus and a target and over here I selected attributes and I can put it whatever I want to write it in attributes section that I can put it over here but how I can how I can um, um, see this validate it so I'm going to validate it by just printing over here uh, attributes over here okay 
I'm just going to select attributes here because of I can't show in the screen over here attributes is the part of a metadata that's why I'm just printing in the console I'm just going to print that and I'm going to show how these attributes are going to print let it deploy this I can hit it, this request again and it is successful and you can see the final exit from hello world and it is showing that status as success whatever I have written in attribute that is what it is showing over here clear okay then the third thing is how I can write a variables you can use a two things set variable is the component I can use over here I can say name as my variable I can say that over here hard coding some value mule soft I'm going to hard code as a mule soft okay so this is how I can use a variable creation that is one way or okay how I can see this value you can print a log and see that what is the value of that so I can say name is and over here where dot name I'm going to print it and see that value other than that the second way how we can do that is click on plus symbol over here target you can see output is variable I can say test variable okay and I can give some value over here test value so this is how there are two ways you can create a variable using the set variable and transform message okay let me test it this flow I'm not printing this test variable I'm just saying that only this um, uh, only I'm going to I print name value enter and if I go to the console I should able to see the name of the variable is MuleSoft because of I have assigned hard-coded value over here MuleSoft so that are the three ways uh, three things we can write in a MuleSoft it is simple right now I'm going to show how we can read this payload attributes and variables to be frankly we have already seen these two things how to read this the reason is if you see here I am reading the variables and the attributes using this attributes like this if you want to print only the status attributes dot status you can do that also okay that is how you can read the payload using this syntax we can read the payload how we can read the variable using that where should dot the variable name whatever you created the variable name with that you can read that so what I'm going to do I'm going to read the uh, attributes over here I'm going to say message slash I'm going to change it over here the path name I'm going to pass it over here as a dynamic when you put it within a braces that is a dynamic name so I want to read that name from the attributes so you can do that using attributes dot so whenever in the path if you are going to pass it like within the braces that is called as a path parameters you can see attributes dot URI param sorry that is not path parameters it is a URI parameters URI parameters what is the I have given over there name as the parameter name I have given I can pass this way and I am assigning to that variable called name over here now I can reuse this variable I can how can I read this variable it is simple hello I'm going to say because of I'm going to change the hello world I'm going to say where's dot whatever the name it is coming for that name I'm going to say hello so it will give some error over here that's fine so if you want to remove that error you can put it default value as empty I will talk about it this code this is data view code 
we will see in the further sessions okay so i'm going to read that variable var dot with a variable name how to read a uh, payload we know already that is just you can use a syntax of and payload is you can use a syntax of payload so how we can read you can read a payload using the syntax and you can read the attributes using attributes syntax like this or within that if you want to access any element you can access this and how you can read the variable var dot the variable name it should be id or whatever it is id or whatever it is it's going to be the some name okay variable name actually here should be that so let me see now i'm going to save these changes and test it saved now i changed the url message slash i need to put something over here i'm going to give name as netbook so enter now you can see hello netbook it is coming and if i go to my log this is the my name is netbook it is coming and when i'm accessing the attributes status it is coming as a success now the payload is coming as a hello netbook similarly if i change some name over here message slash name i'm giving as a key the same name it is going to come because that url parameter i stored into variable over here the same variable i have concatenated with a hello over here by reading this variable that simple it is so we can use uh, this uh, transform message for creating a payload attributes as well as variables and we can use set payload for creating a payload and we can use set variable for creating a variable or writing a variable and we can use these are the syntax for reading a payload attributes and variables thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe netbook that's it for today see you in the next video thank you